Well, good morning, folks. It's Captain Banana. And it's Monday. Monday. Yeah, it's Monday, June 21st. So I uh, made my delivery. I did an 8-2 split. Got my delivery done. You know, my plan worked out. <laughs> Sat two hours in, uh, in the door. Sleeper berth. Got my, uh, got my reset in. Yeah. Love it when a plan comes together. So, uh, you know, um, when I'm up here in Maine, there's uh, one place I go for a washout quite often. And it's uh, Rigby Storage, located at the intersection of Rigby and Rumery Road. There's an old guy in there, and his name is John. And he's the guy that does the washouts, and he's a real character. So I pull in there, and he's just like, hey, hey. I haven't seen you in a long time. Where you been? Stop it all over the place. Yeah, yeah, you haven't been up here in Maine, have you? Yeah, last time you was here, you slept in my parking lot. <laughs> Which I did, you know. It's the last time I was there. I got there like 3 o'clock in the morning and I just, you know, slept in the parking lot. And, you know, woke up and I'm like, oh, okay, good, you're open. I'm about to wash out. He's like, yeah, I seen you, seen you sleeping. I just figured, ah, just let him sleep. So anyway, so he washed out my trailer. Um, you know, it's Monday, and uh, usually when I uh, message Maurice, like, hey, you know, need money on the card for this or that or whatever, usually gets taken care of real fast. But a half hour went by, and I'm like, hmm reply from Maurice. He must be busy. So I called him. Yeah. Sitting there after 15 minutes of being on hold, I'm like, gosh, screw it. So I called the fuel desk for a uh, PO for a washout because uh, Rigby Storage, they're not uh, they are not on our list of uh, washouts. You know, like we don't have an account for them, so we have to fill out a comp check. So I talked to the girl at the fuel desk, and she's like, "Well, I can't put any money on your card, but I can do is give you a an exp, you know an express code." I'm like, "Okay, I've never done an express code on a comp check." She goes, "Yeah, it's real simple." So okay. So I told John, I said, "Hey, John, uh, I didn't register the comp check. All I got's an express code." And he's like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, that that that'll work. That'll work." I'm like, uh, "You never done an express code yet, huh?" I said, "No." Nah. She goes, "Ah, well." Prime will turn you into a real trucker. <laughs> so, you know, he took care of the express code and everything. And, and it's funny because uh, it's a voice-operated system. Sort of like, you know, say the uh, customer name or, or the, you know, the what, whatever name. And it's just like, uh, yeah, customer name. We heard L364. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Is that correct? Please say yes or no. Yes. Yes. Ah, fuck me. <laughs> Guy is a trip. So anyway, so, uh, you know, he got paid. I'm like, all right, John, I'll see you later. Have a good one. So he waves back, yeah, blow me. <laughs> so if you're ever up here in Maine and you want a good laugh, go see John at Rigby Storage. Because he's a real character. Well, good morning, folks. It's Captain Banana, and it's Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. That's right, folks. It's Tuesday, June 22nd. And I'm up here in St. Albans, Vermont. And for those that know where I am, all I can say is, Ice cream, ice cream. Lieutenant Dan, I got ice cream, ice cream. Ah, okay, that, that makes sense, so, because, oh, well, too early in the freaking morning, but, uh, yeah, I was up in Maine, and, uh, messaged my dispatcher, you know, I said to Maurice, I said, hey, kind of hungry, got a hankering for ice cream, dot, 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 yeah, about an hour later, new messages come in, <laughs> yeah, going to, Ben and 
and Jerry's. That's right, my favorite ice cream brand. I love Ben and Jerry's. The only Ben and Jerry's I don't like is an empty container. Uh, I have yet to have a bad pint of Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Oh my God, all their ice cream is just friggin' amazing. So I uh, came here to uh, St. Albans, Vermont. Picked up my trailer. Went uh, to the, uh, what the hell is it, the wagon wheel truck stop or whatever it's called. Because uh, my trailer I picked up uh, was down about a quarter tank of fuel. It's a problem with an ice cream load. Um, <laughs> Got to keep that stuff cold. Got to keep it cold. You know, reefer runs and runs out of fuel, and that's not a good thing. So, yeah, so I fueled up. Fueled up, and, uh, well... They got Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, yeah. Got to get my coffee fixing. Got to get my Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, a little coffee out this morning. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Four Dunkin' Donuts coffees later. Oh, yeah, bouncing off the walls here. Bouncing off the walls here. Oh, it's so nice to be out of the Midwest and out of the South where, you know, it's like 68 degrees out. It's nice and cool this morning. Well, usually when I get up at 5 a.m., it's 80 degrees and I'm sweating. So, yeah, it's a nice little uh, temperature change. Um, it actually rained. That was nice. Haven't seen rain in uh, a little while. Of course going to rain because I got my truck washed. But anyway, so I got a 537 mile journey to my fuel stop. And I'm, uh, oh, let's see how. 1,262 miles from my 90. That's a dropping hook at the other end. So this job was dropping hook at both ends, which is awesome because uh, we like the dropping hooks. Especially when they're open windows, which means, you know, drop any time between 12.01 a.m. and 11.59 p.m. So you got plenty of goof-off time. <laughs> which is a good thing, because, you know, you've been running and gunning, and it's, uh, it's nice to get a load where you can uh, just take your time and don't have to bust your balls to get there. friend of mine on the phone and I was driving through uh, driving through Massachusetts and all the traffic and of course I was doing all my voices like yeah that's right that's right Bob just pull in front of me yeah I got a deer guard I got a deer guard then we'll shove this deer guard up your ass pull in front of me I'm just gonna run you over I had her cracking up I don't know she thinks my voices are funny maybe they are Maybe they are. Yeah, that's a good possibility. <laughs> yeah. Coffee. Lots of it. Yeah. Well, not so good evening, folks. It's Terrible Tuesday, June 22nd. One of the reasons I don't park in truck stops, if it can be avoided, is because people back into you. And that's what happened. Yeah, some guy backed into the side of my truck. Broke my fairing. And I ripped it, uh, ripped it out of the moorings in the back of my sleeper bunk. Yeah, well, the bright side is nobody was injured. Nobody was killed. My truck is drivable. You know, I... I, I well, uh, I'll post pictures, uh, you know, I'll post pictures of it, but, you know, it's just, it's, it's the aggravation of it, you know, just, it sucks, you know, shit happens, but why does it have to happen to me? <laughs> ah, well. That's part of trucking, you know. Sooner or later, 
Somebody's going to hit you. Oh, and he was not a swift driver. <laughs> but he was wearing flip-flops. Shame on the mess. <laughs> Bonehead Truckers of the Week. If you don't subscribe to Bonehead Truckers of the Week, shame on the mess. You need to subscribe to Bonehead Truckers of the Week. We got a new video every Wednesday. And unfortunately, today's Tuesday, so I've got to wait till Wednesday to see the new episode of Bonehead Truckers of the Week. <laughs> Some funny shit there. But yeah, you know. So I got to get my tools out, get my screw gun out. I got to take uh, one bolt out so I can get the fairing off so I'll be able to drive the truck down the road tomorrow. Because otherwise the fairing is just hanging off the side of my truck. Yeah, yeah, that sucks. Oh well, like they say, goddamn foreigners! Nah, just kidding. <laughs> you know what they say? That's trucking. Well, good morning, folks. It's Captain Banana. It's Wednesday, June 23rd. Oh, hang on. Wednesday, June 23rd. And, well, now that the sun's up, I can survey the damage to my truck caused by another driver backing into me. Yeah. And just such a wonderful day. A wonderful way to start my day. Anyhow. Yeah, that's the damage. structural damage mostly cosmetic damage but yeah it's gonna be a pain in the ass that fairing's got to be replaced uh, top fairing's got to be painted side of the truck's got to be painted yeah it's been to the metal as well creased it pretty good it's Deep scratches. Yeah, well, nobody was injured, so, you know, that's the important thing, but, you know, that's just, just a pain in the ass. Ah, oh, well. Sucks. Well, good morning, folks. It's Captain Banana. Today is Thursday. That's right, S-H-I-T. So happy it's Thursday. Which means tomorrow is payday. But yeah, it's Thursday, June 24th. And, uh, well, I parked overnight at the rest area. Less chance of getting hit there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the pussy cat. Where's 
my little baby. Where's my little baby? Where's my little precious? Where's my little precious? Where's my little baby? It's too funny. I scratch her ass and she eats her crunchies. <laughs> yeah, she's a trip. Anyway, I just woke up. Gotta go wash my face, brush my teeth. started I'm six and a half hours from my 90 make my delivery I've got eight hours and 11 minutes left on my 70 hour clock tomorrow I get back 10 hours so my plan is go make my delivery you know drop and hook grab my new empty trailer um, I'll at least get it fueled up because I'm going to be parking at a pilot truck stop down the road from where my delivery is so because it's a dropping hook I want to stop at that truck stop first fuel up my trailer yeah fuel up the trailer drop it hook up to an empty trailer drag that back to the same pilot truck stop get fuel in that and then shut down because I'll uh basically be out of time yep be interesting to see what new and exciting load I get after this yeah fun 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 my uh, recaps coming well they look like that 10 hours 9 and a half hours 9 hours 47 minutes 7 hours 41 minutes 6 hours 30 minutes 10 hours 35 minutes 7 hours 38 minutes the top one it says zero well that's because that's today and I haven't broken my clock so whatever hours I drive today will show up there and uh, tell me what hours I have coming back in eight days it's called running recaps or recaptured time the time I drive today I get back eight days later been to a lot of rest areas throughout the country let me tell you these ones in Tennessee are really nice and clean so if you're ever in Tennessee stop at a rest area you'll thank me for it folks it's Captain Banana and it's Friday June 25th yeah it's been a long long day it's actually Saturday when I'm making this video but you know whatever so uh, got my load delivered last you know Friday about 45 minutes left of my clock so I shut down parked at a Walmart went inside did some shopping got some water got some chips and uh, yeah next job I got was uh, going to a Tyson picking up uh, dropping the trailer I had I had to get it washed out first, fueled, washed, and then uh, swap that trailer out with another trailer that has a rental reefer unit on it. Yeah. Never thought Prime rented reefer units, but apparently if a uh, reefer unit is broke, that's what we will do. So I got the rental rented reefer unit, got that trailer. And uh, I had to take that to my 01, get loaded. I'm dragging this thing to Ohio to drop it off. Well, of course, I'm going to make the delivery first and then get the trailer uh, to wherever to have.
have them pull that reefer unit off and I guess put our uh, reefer unit back on it. Hey, whatever. But, uh, boy, I did some driving today. Oh, Jesus. I, uh, I don't even know how many miles I did. Oh. Let's see. Uh, yep, drove 416 miles. Yeah, 416 miles today. So, yeah, productive day. You have two hours and 29 minutes of remaining drive time. Yep, I got 11 hours and 15 minutes left on my 70 hour clock. Good thing for recaps. You have two hours and 29 minutes of remaining drive time. Yeah, recaps. I got nine hours, 47 minutes coming back at midnight, seven hours, 41 minutes the following day, six hours, 30 minutes the day after that, 10 hours, 35 minutes the day after that, seven hours, 38 minutes the day after that, seven hours, 51 minutes, seven hours, 49 minutes, and well, 50 minutes today, and that's only because uh, the clock just rolled over, so. But yeah, I'm tired. I'm, uh, <laughs> I, gotta, I got to get at least three hours of sleep, actually four hours of sleep, uh, while they were loading me in my shipper, in my O1. But uh, yeah, I want to uh, go to sleep. I'm going to deliver this bad boy by 3 p.m., so I don't know how many hours I'm going to sleep. I don't know, at least eight, maybe ten, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, um, yeah, jeez, I'm only five hours, 40 minutes from my 90. That's not bad. But, yeah, it's uh, 12.51 a.m. 7.39, So, seven and a half hours of sleep. Yep, that'll work. Well, good morning, folks, and happy Saturday. That's right, it's Saturday, June 26th. There's my pussy cat. folks it's captain banana and today is sunday 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 yeah sunday june 27th and i'm at a ta and uh towel rack you know what that means it's shower time yeah not uh not exactly the The largest shower, but it's clean, which was surprising for a TA, but yeah, TA's really stepped up their game, actually. So yeah, the shower's clean. I had to use uh, some points for my uh, for my shower, but hell, I got like 4,000 points, so yeah. Yeah, it's funny, although, uh, what the hell is it? Petro Pilot, I don't know, one of them. 
won the shower contract, or not the shower contract, Jesus, the fuel contract. They, uh, yeah, they won, they won the fuel bid, and yet we still fuel it loves because it loves is cheaper. Yeah, so yesterday I had to uh, go pick up a trailer, drop it off. Well, actually, well, let's start over. I had to take the trailer I had, get it washed out, fueled, then go drop it off, pick up another trailer, get that to my O1, uh, get loaded, get it fueled, drop it off, or, you know, deliver to my 90, and then drop it off at a repair shop, and now I'm bobtail, so I'm bobtail in like 300 miles to my 01 to pick up another load, which is uh, orange juice. Yeah, I'm going to take that to uh, just outside of Chicago. So that's due tomorrow. Yeah, fun, fun, fun. All right, folks, it's Captain Banana, and it's Sunday, and I'm at a Indiana truck stop, or not truck stop, rest area. Uh, and I got a little barbecue pit here. Picnic benches. It's pretty nice. So a little fire pit. Clean little place, picnic benches. Nice lawn. Plenty of plenty of spaces if you got a dog for the dog to run. Yeah, it's pretty nice out here. But uh, this one's located off of I-74, and uh, well, I stopped here at 93 miles to the Loves. Eh, it's getting late. Figured I'd just stop here, shut down for the night, and that way I can. Get a jump on tomorrow. Stop the loves. Gonna refuel. Already took a shower, so I don't need to do that tomorrow. But you know, refuel and then uh, get to my uh, get to my 90. I'm about five and a half hours from there. Get everything dropped off, and then uh, get my next load. And let's see. There are the vending machines. And on a hot day like today, you definitely need that Gatorade. Plenty of snacks to get fat on. They even take credit cards. Thank God they take credit cards. <laughs> so, inside the place, nice little wooden structure. Yeah. yeah, not much of an information center. But they do have maps for those that know how to read maps. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, yeah, it's a uh, yeah. nice little rest area. I've seen, uh, I've seen nicer, like Tennessee. Tennessee's got some great rest areas. And I've seen shitty rest areas like, um, I don't know, New Jersey. 